From a ghost of a pregnant girl haunting Troxel Hall, to young soldiers from the 1800s roaming Cavalry Hall, UTRGV has its fair share of urban legends, leaving campus community members wondering, are these stories real or fake? To learn about ghost stories on the UTRGV campuses, the writer spoke with Thomas Hodkovic, one of the founders of RGV Paranormal Investigations, and with English lecturer Marianne Escamilla, who has been part of the Edinburgh campus as a student and employee since the late 1980s. During her time with the university, Escamilla told the writer she has heard an urban legend from Troxel Hall. From what I remember, Troxel Hall is supposed to have a haunted uh, dorm room or something like that of a student who took his own life, I believe. And uh, people get chills, you know, the regular chills, and I think uh, the orbs and things like that that they've seen. The Troxel Hall dormitory legend has it that a young woman got pregnant by a student who took her as a one-night stand. However, the young woman thought the student really liked her. When she found out she was pregnant, the young woman attempted to give herself an abortion in her dorm room. Realizing she could not do so, she committed suicide. Other versions of this story say the young woman died while giving herself an abortion. Legend has it that students in living in Troxel Hall may see the young woman at night knocking on a certain door. A young girl was found dead by the external staircase of the science building on the Edinburgh campus. It is said the young girl can be found staring down at people from the third floor. The story says she may have jumped from the balcony of the third floor that connects the external staircase with the science building located on the east side of campus. As Mia said more people have said they have seen the girl stare down at them while walking through campus. There have been people who say that they see her or see an apparition looking down to where she's at and apparently they think that if she people get close enough to her that she will throw them down or something like that. In Bronzeville, the UTRGV campus and Texas Southmost College are on the side of former Fort Brown, which was built in 1846 and housed federal troops during the Mexican-American War. Fort Brown's original hospital is now the administration building for TSC. Other buildings include an old prison, warehouse, and morgue. TSC is leasing several buildings to the UT system, including Cavalry Hall and Sid Eichmann Hall. Cavalry Hall, built in 1868, served as barracks until World War I. It then served as a quartermaster warehouse and commissary. Hodkovic said he and his team have encountered young soldiers walking through Cavalry Hall during several ghost hunts. We uh, have encountered uh, uh, the lady, lady in white roaming around the campus. Uh, we've encountered uh, what appears to be a gambler around Gorgas Hall, several children, uh, soldiers as well. The legend of the lady in white, not to be confused by the legend of La Llorona, has it that a mother is looking for her wounded son, who served in the Mexican-American War. Stories say some people walking through campus at night may come across the lady in white and she will ask them if they have seen her son. During several ghost hunts, Hodkovic also told the writer he has noticed women feel sadness around TSC's old morgue building. This may occur when ghosts attach themselves to an individual. Typical signs include a sudden change of mood or behavior. He also said some ghosts may even follow individuals home. These are not the only ghosts that have been spotted at TSC or the Bronzeville campus. Hakovic said there have been many stories of ghosts who appear to campus community members at night that have not been named or identified. Whether these stories are true or not, it is up to you to decide. This Halloween, what will you believe? Reporting for the Writer newspaper, I'm Jesus Sanchez.